Hello and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia and if you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back. So today I'm going to share with you my Aldi haul and as usual, I will always put the prices up of all of the items that I bought here today and I'll also share what I plan on doing with a lot of this food. So let me share with you everything that I picked up today. So I had to pick up a few things from here um, because Costco is just on the horizon. I have to go probably within the next week or so. So I did have to buy some things that I would usually get at Costco today, but let me just go right here and share with you everything. So first off, I did get some deli meats because we were running low on deli meats. So I did get some of the Oven Classic turkey breasts and the Honey turkey breasts. Gonna give those a try for my kids' sandwiches and wrap. These are so cute, so I picked these up. These are just mini bagels. I thought this would be a great uh, quick breakfast idea. Also, if you wanted to, you could fry like a little egg and then just place it on there and make like a little bagel sandwich. I thought that was so adorable. So I also did get some um, cream cheese. There we go. Some whipped cream cheese. This is the only one that they offered. They have like the Philadelphia cream cheese brand, but I just decided to go with the Happy Farms. Back here, okay, so one of the meals I plan on making with these hamburger buns is my tavern sandwiches. So I usually use brioche buns and when I got to Aldi, they only had the sesame seed ones, and my husband cannot have sesame seeds. So I just decided to just get the regular hamburger buns. There's eight in here. They'll be just fine for that recipe. I also got a pineapple, really cheap pineapple for a really like heavy pineapple, like really durable, so I did get that. I usually get my yogurt tubes at Costco, but this was different. I thought this would be kind of fun. My, my, actually, my son was, was with me today, so he chose these out, but there was also another box that had, I believe, a strawberry and blueberry flavor, but he went with this one, cotton candy and melon berry, and there are eight tubes in here, and what my kids like to do is we'll like put half of them in the fridge, and the other half will go in the freezer for a frozen yogurt treat. This is like literally my cheese section over here. I did get some string cheese for some snacks along with a bunch of cheese blocks. So I got the extra sharp cheddar cheese, mozzarella, and some Monterey Jack. This is for any meals that I plan on making. I just like to always make sure I have cheese in my fridge. So I mentioned that I need to go to Costco and we always get coffee from there because we drink so much of it. But I had to really look. I only buy whole bean because I do a French press and I don't like to buy the gram because it's usually a lot finer than what we need it to be. So I got this, this is um, whole bean, single origin from Peru and then single origin from Honduras. So we're gonna give these a try. These are 12 ounces um, and they are organic beans. So kind of excited to try something different. You know, I would probably never pick this up had I not been out of coffee. So gonna give that a try. I also got some uh, sausage links for the weekend for my kids breakfast. So in my last haul I mentioned, I think it was my Costco haul I mentioned, I finally got a freezer and I'm very stoked on that, which means that if I ever see clearance meats such as this, I can pick it up because I have the room now. So I did just that. I'm gonna start perusing all of their meat sections, even if I don't need it, to look for clearance items. And this was a good find right here. So I usually get um, whole chickens from Costco, but I'm not gonna pass this up. It was 50% off for a free range young chicken the whole chicken very stoked about that and if you shop at Aldi you've probably seen this before the, the chicken nuggets delicious I put these in my kids lunches if you guys ever need lunch box ideas I will leave a playlist down below for you guys uh, and you guys also mentioned the honey battered breast tenders this is I guess considered the yellow or gold bag chicken you guys told me to get it I got it cannot wait to try these the other thing and I'm still I don't understand what's going on you guys mentioned the green bag chicken I guess it's like um, Italian breaded chicken breasts like for chicken parm or something it's still not there I don't know if it's ever gonna be there and I'm very sad about that because I did get I might as well share I got this and I thought I was gonna be making some chicken parm. And everyone is saying that this is actually maybe better than Rayo's. It is very similar in an ingredients, not similar in price. This is way cheaper. I could probably get three bottles for maybe the price of a one Rayo's bottle. So I'm kind of bummed that I could not find uh, the green bag chicken. 
but I will definitely make use of this for sure. Back there, I did get two gallons of just whole milk there for my daughter. She drinks milk so much and so do my other boys. And I did get a can of coconut milk. I'm gonna make some type of chicken curry, I believe this week. Throw in some coconut milk to make it nice and creamy. Some bananas, I have a bundle of bananas. I have a couple bananas left over um, in my produce area, but need to replenish that along with some berries. So I did pick up a couple cartons of strawberries along with one carton of blueberries and these guys are gonna go into mason jars um, for those that are new definitely stick your berries in mason jars because they do prolong the life of your berries for quite a while and I like to stick in a little piece of paper towel on the very bottom to pick up any moisture condensation that goes on in the jar just to keep them mold free I have quite a bit of chips over here I did not realize it uh, but I did get some tortilla chips for chips and salsa the pretzels, oh you guys, you guys like really like came through and told me everything to get and now this is definitely gonna be on my like revolving list. These pub pretzels are fantastic. They're seasoned, super garlicky and oniony. Oh, they are divine. Um, I also got some kettle chips for my kids, lunch boxes, and then this is actually something for my husband. I think, is there like a seasonal aisle that like, they have like items that you might not see again. I don't know because this wasn't with the chips. This was like in a separate aisle. So if you guys can help me figure out what aisle this is, let me know. But these are these are kettle chips. So they're Nashville hot chicken flavored. Sounds super good. They also have um, a Cuban sandwich flavor. Super odd, but I thought this one would probably be really good. I did get some apples. So a bag. I grabbed a bag of Honeycrisp apples, and in here there are. Seven Honeycrisp apples for a pretty good price. So I also picked these guys up and uh, people that shop at Aldi and are familiar with the Facebook group um, Isle of Shame, these were in the Isle of Shame. So it's like a bunch of like home um, decor, just random products and these were in there and I definitely needed to get them. I like to make my own homemade all-purpose cleaner which includes um, a couple drops of essential oil. I usually use either lemon or bergamot but these would be just perfect for that. I will write out my recipe in the description box below if you're interested in trying out a natural cleaner. I also got a jar of salsa. I usually love the salsa from Walmart. It's the Casa Sanchez one. And I think Aldi makes a different, another type of salsa. I didn't see it there, but last time I got it, it was a, like a roasted one. It was delicious. My kids really loved it. Uh, but this time they only had this, so I grabbed that. This is my little vegetable section over here. So right here I have some mini cucumbers. Super cute, perfect for school, for snacking on, along with a long English cucumber. I usually only get them at Costco, but again, I need to go desperately. Some French green beans. There is a whole pound of green beans in here. I also picked up some frozen vegetables. I think having frozen vegetables in your freezer is just such a time saver. I know they usually get a bad rap, but I really love it. It's super helpful for me, especially if I'm making like a main and then like a starch or a side or something. And then it comes to the veggies. I'm like, I am so tired. I don't want to do anything more. Throwing these in the microwave just is super helpful. So I always grab some frozen veggies. I have a large container of spring mix here. We actually went through it pretty quickly this last time because um, my kids have been eating little side salads for dinners with uh, the balsamic vinegar dressing from Aldi. I didn't see it there this um, on this trip, but if you see it, it is so good. My kids really love it too. I also picked up a bag of spinach. Um, this is gonna go into my smoothies. I love making a protein smoothie after I work out. I'll throw a large handful of spinach in there. So I needed to get that. I also picked up a small carton of mushrooms here to throw into whatever like pastas I decide to make this week. I do have a small bag of avocados. I believe there are six in here. And um, for avocado toast, of course, or to throw on top of scrambled eggs or guacamole. I love always having avocados. I also have a bag of red grapes back here for my kids' lunch boxes and for snacking on. I also picked up some cereals. So I got the Aldi brand Cheerios, I guess you could say, and then the Aldi brand Golden Grams. Uh, my husband loves Golden Grams, so those are for him. Those are for my kids. And then the last thing I need to talk about here is the wine. 
So last month, I decided to pick up like a wide range of different priced wines. This one ended up being our favorite, the Intermingle. So this was the mid-priced of the three that I bought. I bought like a $3 bottle, a $7 bottle, and then a $10 bottle. The $10 one was really good. That one was a quarter cut um, cab. Super good, but for this price, you guys, Definitely get it. $6.99, I got two bottles of the Intermingle Cab. And that is it, my friends, for this Aldi haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some new ideas. And if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys. We're closer to heaven.